All right, I think I'm recording. Hopefully I'm not live um, on any pages, but I'm about to go check to make sure. Um, I just wanted to hop on here to do a little video on, and I apologize if it looks like, or it sounds like there's a whole bunch of going on. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty busy around here on a Sunday morning, but I wanted to kind of come in here and show you how to use Square, how I figured out how to use Square um, to kind of work around with my free gift. So with that said, I am going to go ahead and share my screen. we go. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So here is my square dashboard. So when you, I'm going to actually go back here. I'm going to go back to home. So whenever you log into square, um, you're going to <clears throat> go to, oh, how do I get there? Let's just go back to square. Okay. So you're just going to go to online and click online. And then you're going to go to over here on the corner with the three little dots over here. You're going to go to your, um, what's up? Are you on a video? Yes, I'm on a video. What's up? How? Without I'm recording on my computer. Do you need something? Okay. I'm just wondering what I was doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're going to go to marketing here. So you're going to go to marketing and then you're going to go to view campaigns. So you're going to go to view campaigns. Now, before you even do any of these steps, so before you do any of these steps, I suggest go to jotform.com and I've already have my form here. So I've already built my form. It's super easy. This is my little free dog tracer that I have. It's one of my free gifts. Um, <clears throat> this is super easy. Um, all you have to do is go to jotform.com job form, create a form. I use a template. So I took a template and I just kind of took one of the templates that were here. I kind of used a, um, which one did I use? I think I used a registration form template. Oh no, it was like a really short one. I don't remember which one it was. Let me see. Sign up forms. Maybe it was under sign up forms. But you could use your sign up. You could use this one. Look, you could use any one. Pick one. It doesn't matter which one it is. Um, so, like, I could pick this one if I wanted to. I could use this one. It's super easy, right? Look, this is so simple. You can add your file here. My little... Valentine's Day dog if I wanted to add it, right? And then I could change whatever I need to change. So I already have one established. You just find a template. It's super easy. I use Jot Forms a lot. So what I use Jot Forms, I use it for my paint parties online and my paint parties for those who want to do an in-person private paint party. So I use Jot Form a lot for that. Um, it's easy. It's free. So this is what you do after you're done making your little form, your little, um, this is where they're going to go. You're going to go in here to campaign. Okay. I already have it set up. So this is already set up. So I already had one set up, but I'm actually going to create, <laughs> I'm going to create another one just to kind of give you guys a base a base. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create my butterfly one. So I'm actually going to remove this logo. I'm going to upload my butterfly one. I don't remember what I put it. Where did I put it? Hold on. Give me one minute. I have so much, so many, so many ones. Here we go. Oh, that's not the one I want. That wasn't the one that I put in there. <clears throat> Come on, guys, give me one minute. I don't know where I put it, to be honest. 
Wait, 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 wait. For gifts. Oh, there it is. Here it is. I found it. Okay. So I'm going to actually do this for my, I don't, hold on. That's, I don't like this little form. So let's change our, oh wait, she actually, sorry. I finally got my, I had a paint party and she finally, <laughs> squirrel, right? She finally, she finally um, filled it out. Sorry. I got distracted. Um, You could easily do this too. So you can go here and you can do clone it. You can clone it. So you can clone it. So if I wanted to clone this, I could. With logo, I could upload my own file. Right? this. Sorry if this is a really long, this probably will be a long um, video, but then grab your butterfly tracer. Simple, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Okay, so butterfly free. Okay, so then there we go. Publish. I copied this link. So I take this link with me. So when I go over here to my square, I'm going to create a campaign. I'm going to create an email, okay? You could do a Facebook if you wanted to, but I'll show you something really cool here in a minute. Okay, so now I'm gonna choose my, my name here. And I'm going, I'm not gonna choose a target, but best targets. So what I'm gonna choose, and I found what worked the best is doing, um, just doing a sending a quick update type. So that's the design I'm going to choose. And then here we go. Um, what did I put on the last one? Actually, let's go over here. I like to, oops, I'm going to log in. Sorry. Ah! It logged me out. I don't know why I did. Um, I like to kind of just copy and paste everything. Oh, I need to, I need to, I need to edit that. Oops. <laughs> um, I need to, I need to edit that. Butterfly tracer. Right. And then. Oops, sorry. We butterfly tracer it will in your box soon. I can't wait to see what you create friend great right okay. something like that along the lines like that I apparently can't spell today it's okay and then down here you're just gonna put your your image so I'm just gonna put the same image that I've been using um, select and I'm gonna kind of keep this the same. You could change this header image if you want. You could select one. You could actually put this up in there, but it doesn't really work very well, so I don't use it. But if you wanted to choose your theme, you could. I'm not gonna change my logo. Okay, and then this is where you would come in here and tracer we do an external link make sure you click external link go grab your form here copy and copy and paste there you go you could choose your color if you want to i'm going to choose this color done there we go so there you go make sure when you do the subject line though you delete this subject line and you say fun 
free painting eraser. Okay, so then you, there you go. There is your free tracer. Now you're probably asking me, well, how do I, how do I get the tracer to, to my people, right? Okay. So we're going to go to select audience. You're going to select custom audience. You're going to select zero subscribers because you don't have any subscribers yet. And you're going to just, you're going to just have zero subscribers. Then you can connect I don't know why it keeps doing it. It keeps disconnecting my Facebook too. I don't know why, but it just keeps doing that. You can connect it to your Facebook if you want to connect it to your Facebook. I don't know why it keeps disconnecting my Facebook to my square, which doesn't make any sense because my square store is connected to my Facebook. Okay. So you're going to do custom. I'm going to watch, walk you through it again. Custom regulars, zero subscri subscribers. Then you're going to just roll, scroll down here and you can select your page that you want to, um, you want to send it to. You're going to review your campaign. Now you're going to, you may have to pay for it if you have email subscribers. If you're doing the email, it's $15 a month. If you want to use Square email subscriber, like if you want to send campaigns through Square, it is $15 a month. I do pay for it um, because I do have a text message that I send out through my Square. Um, don't want to do reminders. So just keep this empty. And then now you want to send. We'll make sure that it looks okay. So you want to make sure everything looks good. Free tracer. Grab your free butterfly tracer. It will be... Oh, see, look, I misspelled. So maybe I need to go back and re-edit my, because this will be, this, you can't edit this. Once it's out there, it's out there in your email box soon. Okay. I can't wait to see what you create, Peyton Friend. All right. So now we go back and I made this mistake earlier when I made my last one. Um, I did not check it over. And I realized that the header had, um, and see, look, it even gives you Facebook, grab your free prey tracers. And I went into and look at the header and the header had like in the email header was like holiday hours or something like that. I was like, oh no, but it was also in the header for Facebook. So like down here where it says squaremarket.com fun paint tracer or whatever, it had like holiday, whatever. I was like, oh, I forgot to go and edit the fit. This is a, like, you cannot go back and edit it. Once it's out there, it's out there and you can't go back and edit it. It's not like with constant contact where you can go back in and you can edit your, your page. You have to continuously like update it. So now, now that you have this, you could do send now. It's preparing your email. Okay. Back to my dashboard. I'm going to wait for it to regenerate. I probably have like five or six of these out there, but I wanted to test run it for you guys. And I wanted to make a video because I know a lot of you guys use Square and a lot of you guys were having questions on how to use Square. And it's super, it's, it's, it's super complicated. And so there we go. It's right there. So now I could go to my my page, right? I can go to my page, see if it's in there. Or it might not, it might not regenerate. It took a while for it to generate last time. There it is. See, so now here it is. So let's click on it and see what happens. Okay. Grab your free butterfly tracer, free tracer. Let's see where it takes me. It takes me directly to my landing page. Boom, bam, there you go. And then they put their information and then when you, when you come in here, so like, for example, this person, I want to view. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Um, so then what you'll do is you'll click on the submission thing and you'll see, watch, I'll show you. You'll see, see how I have this person in here. She, she wants to do the this painting 
and this is already set up. I've already set this up with her. This is one of my paint parties, one of my private paint parties that I've already booked for the month of March. I'm already booking all the way out to March, of course. But as you can see, she has her email in here and I made it to where they have to put their email in there. And this is how you collect your emails. You can download all and then you can upload it into your square and then you can automate it. So then you can go over here and you can send another campaign email, which I have right here. I'll show you. I have right here where I sent, say, only 11 of them viewed it today, but I sent my Google Drive. So what you could do is you could set up a Google Drive. And what I did was I set up, I want to actually view this. Can I view this? Hold on, preview. So I, I view it. Grab your free dog tracer below. It messed up, but there you go. Here is their tracer. Here's the tracer. Here's the the um, sample. So there you go. You can set it up to where you only send and you can, you can segment your, so when you go in here and you do another campaign, right? Let's do an email, blah, blah, blah. When you go in here and you do another campaign, you're going to want to do, let's say you're just doing the same thing, right? You're design. Okay. And then when you're selecting your audience, oh, so when you're selecting your audience, you're just going to go to, you're going to go to custom and then you're going to find your little audience because you're going to put them in your, you're going to sub, you're going to like segregate, you're going to, you're pretty much going to segment them and you're going to have them like, oh, you're going to have free gift butterfly or free gift dog or something like that. So like I can go in here and I'll just show you how to do this. I'm not going to do this right now. I can go in here and I can grab and I know this is like a lot to work around, but you can send an email out to them through that way. Like you can send an email to them where they will get the links to the downloads. Um, but I can go in here and I can go to my customers, right? And this is how you do it. This is kind of how you do it. So you're just going to create a customer. Actually, can we submit that? Let me see. Can I do it right here? I wonder if I can do it. You can import your customers. You can download or ex, you can import or ex, you can import your customers, but I think what you can do is you can put them. As you can see, I don't use Square very long, much. You can input them somewhere, somewhere, but you can you can send a campaign to a certain group of people and you can segment them. And I just don't remember how to do that. I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> um, email collection. Oh, wait a minute. And then here you can also customize your sign up page for on your website. So I have a website and that's my sign up page. Um, So yeah, you can you can probably segment them, I think, and then choose whichever one um, you need to choose. But that's kind of how you can do it. You can get work around it that way. I hope that worked. I hope that helped a little bit. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Marketing, and then you go to marketing, and then I think if you just choose whichever ones that you want to choose, and you you can segment you can segment them if you need to. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Probably not right. Saying that right. So like I can go here. This is just a oh, that's a text campaign. Never mind. 
Okay. I have to subscribe to the text message. I, I used to subscribe to the text message campaigns, but I stopped doing them because they weren't really working very well. Anyways, um, so you could do, I'm pretty sure it'll like segment them. Quick update and then design. Okay. I don't care. Whatever. Select audience. Custom. Or you can go up here. You see this little little thing that says import customers. You could import your customers. Um, or you, oh, here we go. Create a new group. So I'm going to create a, a smart group. Oh, wait. No. No. So what I could do is I could just create a group. Let's just do this. I'm putting my... And then we could do free gift butterfly free gift. And I can come in here and I could probably like let's see, will it do it? Butterfly free gift. Right? Which well, has zero subscribers, but like I could make it to where people will that would be what I will use to um, send out that. Or you could just import your customers. So you could do one or the two. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you want help, if you want one-on-one -on -one help, just message me and let me know what is exactly that you're having issues with. And I'll try to help you as much as I can. All right, guys, I hope this was super helpful. Um, yeah, so hopefully it will help you work around and maybe get some people to sign up for your free gift. All right, let me get back to my, there we are. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I will see y'all later. Bye.